Who's did a banging article this week? It got gang shares on Facebook. Mm. It was about a raster who was. I, I don't even know what to say. He was murdered by the cops, apparently. He was not saying he was. murdered by the police. But we're going to pipe in Russ Yellow. But Jules, you did a good article. Got gang shares. What's the. We've, the been sit, we've been sitting on it for a while because it happened before Christmas. And in all the things like this, it's quite a. Allegedly, he got kicked to the point of unconsciousness in his kitchen in front of the kids they, and he, the, the kids never saw him again in custody and what Warren's on the line to he spoke to the family yesterday directly to get an update of it and I told him not to tell me what he heard because he's quite he was quite distressed after he got off the phone but now the Rastafari have mobilized they've marched they've handed in memorandums so once I had all that information together I, I put out this blog post about how on earth since even since this judgment can somebody be kicked to death for weed because the directive we talked about yeah. at just before christmas that came out it came out on um, the 19th of november right and it said don't enter a house without a warrant mm -hmm. and don't bully people and don't unnecessarily <clears throat> drag people off to to don't drag people off to jail unnecessarily yes. and this is exactly what happened can you see hey warren warren so Warren, here is Warren. I, I know very little. Hey, are we? Hey, hello, my brother. Happy New Year. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Away. Good vibes. Away. Can you hear me? Yeah, yes. man. Um, did you hear what I've just been talking about for the last minute? Yeah, you were explaining what the what happened with um, Rasta Brain. Yeah, well, can, the can elder you, in Wellington. Can you can you kind of can you fill the whole group in? about exactly what's been going on because um uh i know there's been a lot of big elders there there's lots of expertise there the lawyers are there and we we know there's some uh, repercussions to it all but just i believe you spoke to the family just run us through it warren how's it going with them it must be traumatic yeah yeah guys um yeah hi to everyone in the studio um hope you're good and everything yeah, this was a bit of a shadow over a good start to 2020. Um, we heard the news and this, the, the news came through a bit sketchy in bits and pieces. Um, but what we have is an elders council. So the elders council um, basically went to the family and to go and visit the family and went to go and find out what exactly happened. And then I decided, no, let me also <laughs> contact the family. It was... It was quite a it was, it was quite a story, um, and I and and I've been asked not to give too much uh, like gruesome details. Sure. But ultimate, but ultimately, it is a violation of of our rights, of anyone's rights. It could happen to anyone in the studio. It could happen to anyone in South Africa. Mm -hmm. This just happened to a Rastaman who's got a shop, um, who's got a family, and. Who had some maybe some a cannabis ganja obviously in his in his house. So what happened basically is that the cops came there. They in they asked for um they asked for the ayahs. The elders came to the gate, and then they said they wanted to come in. Um, they were all cool cool and calm until the elder asked, "Now where's your last brief? Oh, that's that's what that's a, where's your search warrant?" So basically. You know, the elder knew his rights um, and he was knowledgeable to say, well, where's your where's your search warrant? And that's when everything changed. That's when the family said the cops started to get aggressive. Like, you know, but it was all unexpected. They It all turned from like peaceful to violent within two, three seconds. Um, and they, there was a few elders sitting around with uh, Elder De Brain. Um, and basically they were... They were beating everybody up there. They were roughing everybody up, demanding where's things, where's the where's the ganja, where's the cannabis, and basically they took all the cannabis, they took all the ganja, they took whatever that they feel it was of value. The family felt robbed as well. Um, they roughaged through the whole house, and there were children, there was young people. It was kind of sad to hear this, um, guys. You know, like, and you like playing this through your mind because it happened can happen to anyone. And then basically. After beating him on his property in front of his family, um, they basically took him into the van. Um, and that's 
last what the family saw of him. But the story is that I think the, 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 well, there was someone with him in the van as well. I think it was one of his family members that they were spraying tear gas in the van with the with the van doors closed, and and I think that they 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 hit in his breath out and then threw him in the van and kept on spraying um, uh, pepper spray in the van doors, and then sadly the family found him passed away at the police station in front of the police station like right there, at in the hands of police. So that was like really traumatic for them, you know, for anyone. I mean, and also at the end of the day not knowing that they've taken him and then to find him actually passed away at the hands of police. I mean, guys, that can happen to anyone. Um, the fact that it happened to a Rastaman, you know, is like, it shouldn't be desensitized, you know. It shouldn't be seen as like it was a Rastaman. Because, yes, we are and we know for years and forever will be cannabis oriented people. And I think at the hands of Babylon, we are just like the easy fruits that, the, the easy targets per se. And when the easy targets start to push back, then all of a sudden it's like a problem. And because this elder is like a prominent elder, the Rastafari started to stand up. And that's why we that's why the brothers marched in Wellington. And explain that, what they explain in a what nutshell. they did. Explain what they did, Warren, when they got at, at Warren at at, um, at Wellington. They went to a, the magistrate or they went to the police? Where, where, what are the, which complaint have they filed? So, so what has happened now is that they filed an iPod complaint. They have an iPod a consultant to someone that's working with them. Um, there is concerns about iPod and whether they are, how can I say, um, objective and impartial. And some people say they might be biased. Oh. Okay, well, okay. The, the plot thickens. Plot anyway, thickens. you know what? Uh, there was a hell of a lot of people at the march. Uh, they, the, the, on the Fields of Green blog, there is my post with a uh, feature of some rasters marching. And um, we took a bit of time to report on it until we got all the details, because it always, it, everybody, it's all very sketchy all the, all the time. It's a murder for Christ's sake. It Everyone's got an opinion. Related. And every time we write a blog post, fuck, it's set in stone, eh? It really is. Anyway, um, we know that IPID is dodgy, but there is legal assistance out there. And I spoke to Warren Ras, sorry, Ras Gareth Prince yesterday about it. Is there enough armory? Is, there, is it being taken seriously enough? And he says they're going to wait for IPID to deem whether it's a murder charge. And then they've got a docket that has the Minister of Police on, as the first respondent and the widow as the second respondent. So it's in the pipeline, but we have, they have to do. Um, they have to wait. It's a legal story, and I pay the shambles and stuff. Anyway. And effectively, what happens is, don't get me wrong. I hope that the family gets some sort of money. I doesn't. I know it doesn't fix anything. But that's a situation of all of y'all, even involunt involuntarily, paying tax on the system because when the government gets sued, it doesn't come out of Minister Mbaweni's pocket. It comes out of y'all and mine. So. <clears throat> Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it. There's going to be a massive precedent where you're going to say, you can't come into a house on the basis of weed. Right. And, and somebody um, got murdered because of that. Imagine yeah. how insurance will play with that. Yeah. Yeah. Warren, can you hear us again? Oh, where? Sorry, man. Just a per parental responsibility interruption there. Really? I thought you were going to tell us he was oh, packing that bomb. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? I say, I thought you'd run off to red, pack man. that bomb. Red, red, red. Red's looking pretty clean, no, Brew. Did, no, he clean, did, did he clean it for the show? No, he's not the fuck clean, George. He's just hiding <laughs> behind the door. <laughs> yeah, no, he's all right. He's all right. I'm going to fire him up quickly. Yeah, man. Bless him. Chalice of note, that one. So we've got to have a quick 
couch change. Oh no, we had a couch change. <laughs> yeah, but nobody knows that because they're full screen. We right? swapped one white Jesus for another uh, white Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Real quick, I, I wonder if anyone noticed. I'm gonna nice, my bro. My accent changed. <laughs> so, we, before you got shut down, we were asking you about the repercussions and iPad, etc. But, um, Gareth Prince told me yesterday that they were kind of waiting for iPad to rule as to whether it is actually a murder, and then then it will go to the next level through a civil court. Yes, yeah. So so that's that's similar advice because you know you can't have two conflicting cases running. So it's kind of the whole thing of in resolving it internally. So iPad is, is established to deal with police matters and i kind of find that 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 it shouldn't get lost in translation you know that this must now go through an ipad process and i i find that that sometimes the influences are are, are, are saying that you know you've got to be passive aggressive and you've got to wait and you've got to do this the right way but I, we've waited for so many years this is we've probably had so many ipad cases you know this has happened, this is probably the 100,000th time that has happened. It's just now in the new ruling, because if there was an elder that was passed, that was also um, murdered by the hands of police um, 10 years ago, that was elder champion. And, and there was also a case there, you know, and I think that is still an ongoing case. So I, I, I will wait also in anticipation of the outcome, I think, like everyone else. Um, because if it happens to anybody else, we'll also have to follow the iPod process, you know, and get caught up in that process. So I find that, 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 that the government bureaucracy still reigns. Who gives that policeman the right even to take it to that level of violence just for cannabis? Right. You know, that, that, is, that is the point that needs to be looked at. Yeah, yeah no, um, I know. And I think if we can make this case a precedent, if we can make an example of, 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 it will, yeah. You know, Warren, we're going to follow this closely. We know all the main players and they're all in touch with us. Mm. It was really cool to see Gareth wearing a Fields of Green for All t-shirt at the march. And as he says, we are one. So we're going to listen in and uh, we'll write another blog. Yeah. And thank you so much for coming on the show again to give us it from the horse's mouth. There's a, there's a question here, uh, Warren. How comes mainstream media isn't actually reporting on it, you know? I saw because IOL had reported on it. IOL, IOL had put something out, and it was only the Daily Record that had originally reported it. Yeah, guys, I personally think, my personal opinion is that it's been de desensitized already. You know, police uh, raiding a Rasta's house for cannabis is like normal. You know, it's like, yeah. it's going to happen. You know, and that's bullshit. That's like... That's like societal prejudice, like on top. You know why? Why didn't they raid the house next door? You know, um, so just because they know it's cannabis, they know it's a rasta. Um, you know, unfortunately, we have this history in South Africa, so we need to deal with that mentality, that apartheid mentality, and that apartheid law. Thankfully, needs to die. Um, so yeah, um, so yeah, I think that is why the media doesn't want to actually like accentuate the story as like ah oh, it's happened before we've had five or ten or hundred of them already you know it's not new news what is this you know that that is because it's happened to a rastaman but if it happened to someone else maybe different. i think it would have probably made a bit more waves in the news um my personal opinion all right, man. Well, that, yeah. You, yeah, keep us informed on the group if there's anything <clears throat> cool. But I know it's going to be a very slow process from now. And from the team at Fields of Green in the hot box, if you speak to the family again, they must know by now we're watching in and stuff and we're there as any support. But as we said online during the week, during all of this happening, we don't go looking for people to help. We didn't get asked by anybody for help at Wellington, so we didn't do anything, because that's that's how we operate. We couldn't possibly trawl everywhere looking for all the busts. Yeah. So we're here, if we get asked for help, we'll assist in whatever, whatever we can do, we can. with whatever resources we've got. Yeah. Cool. Peace, brother. Koi yes, guys, man. Koi More love, huh? Koi God bless. for the win, bro. Keep it Koi Koi for the win. Cool.